Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm coming at you with another unboxing from Mark Cross. Now this is a bag that I have been wanting for a couple months now and it was out of stock and now it's back again. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get into it. All right. Hi guys. So I just received my um, Mark Cross order. I ordered it like I want to say like five or six days ago and it just got here. Um, it is across the country that was shipping. However, Amazon Prime has really, really spoiled us um, because I am so used to ordering things and getting it in two days. Or if I order it from other luxury sites, it gets here in like two days. So I, I don't know, already that's starting off. I'm like, my cross, y'all need to get with it whenever y'all ship stuff out. I'm going to need y'all to ship it priority so it gets here in two days automatically. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's get into this unboxing. So, un already, in comparison, it just came with the normal, um, with the normal tape. A lot of other luxury brands will, like, tape that bad boy up. You know what I mean? Um, and I did not have to sign for it, which normally you have to sign for luxury brands. So, I don't know what's going on, but, um, yeah. Now, okay, so it has the Mark Cross little things all over this paper. All right, so there's this little um, canvas bag. Oh, yeah, so I also got a, um, it's supposed to be a tic-tac-toe board, and this was supposed to be a free item that came with it. It was like part of the promo, um, and I guess they made this. It's handcrafted, too. That's kind of cool. It says Mark Frost on the back. It feels really nice, very, very, like, substantial. It's cool. Okay, so I'm guessing... Okay, so these are the little, whoop. these are the tic-tac-toe pieces, um, so red, yellow, and they are made out of like leather, so they're made out of leather, they have that coating, this is actually really cool. really cool here's the bag y'all it didn't even come in a box like i don't know what's going on but um it's a little canvas bag and it doesn't even fit all the way in this canvas bag it doesn't fit all the way in this canvas bag anyways okay so here's the handle bum bum oh bum bum Brrr. how pretty is that it's really pretty so this is what is equivalent, um, I forgot, this is their Dove loop calfskin. So it's like equivalent to like Hermes's box um, leather. This leather is supposed to be delicate and it's supposed to like scratch easy. I believe that it will scratch e easy, um, but you're supposed to be able to buff it out um, fairly easy, but it's this smooth leather. It's very like a classic vintage style. Look at that shine. How beautiful is that? That is so classy. That is so classy. I'm, and I'm not going to lie, guys. I recently just got a dream bag that I never asked for. I don't want to spoil anything in case it's up or it's not up. I don't know what order I'm going to put this video in. But um, I purchased this before I got that bag. And so now I'm like, do I send this back? Because I'm probably never going to reach for it. But now that it's here in person... This is beautiful. I don't know if I can send this back. This is beautiful. And so, 
I have been searching for this on the resale market and I could not find it on the resale market and for months it was not on stock it was not um in stock on the site but just recently they re-upped and they did this one and they have a new color in grape and so um I was able to actually procure this now this is why this bag appeals to me so much one because I love top handles okay I love top handles two I don't know what it is about this shiny like vintage calf skin look but I love it and I in black and I love it with this gold hardware like I said before also I love whenever there is a crossbody strap that you can wear this crossbody with I I love that and I also love the attention to detail and the craftsmanship like the craftsmanship I have another Mark Cross bag and it's beautiful the details like even right here the glazing the protect the edges guys look how smooth that is and it's so neat it literally looks like it says that somebody handcrafted this and not only did they handcraft it but they handcrafted it and took their time to make sure that everything was neat nothing was out of place with some of these like well-known luxury brands um, you can get it and it looks a little messy you know what I mean because they have to produce so many it looks a little messy like this even everything is so neat and beautiful <sighs> okay also the other reason why I love it I love when my bags have feet at the bottom because whenever you sit it on something you don't want the bottom to touch and for it to get ruined so that just gives it a little elevation now I do wish that these were a little bigger and they stood off a little bit more to give it a little bit more clearance off the ground but this is fine I, it has something you know what I mean and I also have those purse hooks so I'll just use those to um, in order to hold this up on a table if I need to sit it somewhere and I will make sure to link those purse hooks in the comment section below because I've talked about them before and um, also I believe this hardware is gold plated so I love that a lot of luxury brands are getting away from that I believe Hermes still does it Chanel used to but Chanel does it anymore um, also if you look right here in cursive it says Mark Cross now I know some people have an issue with the lettering um, because they say it's hard to read but that does not bother me because I don't need people to know that uh, to be able to read this from a distance like if you know you know and plus I love that cursive writing it's so classic so pretty um, oh and let me get into this back pocket this this right here is what sells it for me because a lot of these vintage looking top handle bags you know they'll have the top handle they'll have the shoulder strap they'll have that clasp or some form of clasp in the gold hardware but they don't have this pocket and I love a back pocket because if you don't want to get in and out of your bag you can just use the back pocket some people wouldn't because they wouldn't want to stretch it out but I use my bags luxury or not and I use them how they're intended to be used I don't care if it breaks in if it breaks in it's fine I love the I love worn leather and I love how it looks but it has this back pocket and the inside of the pocket is red and it's lined with their leather this is a leather lining on the inside and that pocket is deep it goes all the way down to right here I wish I had a phone but you know what let's use this so um, and I'll measure this to let you know how big this is, but look. That's how deep that is. You can put a notebook back there if you wanted to. A notebook, you can put your phone upright. Like, that is beautiful and it's an easy grab. Now, you might scratch up the leather a little bit trying to come in and out. But yeah. Guys. This is beautiful. It's very soft. It's very shiny. Um, just the details. I will give y'all a second to look this over. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. 
Okay, now also with this one, this is what I love, right? So the Hermes Kelly has those, the Kelly lock that you put the two arms in and then you slide the lock over top of it. Um, this one, this lock is very old school. The lock is down here and this actually locks. I'll show you when I get this lock out. Um, but yeah, it actually locks and you just push this. Let's listen to the sound because on my other Mark Cross bags, the sound is like, it's so luxurious to me. It sounds like an old school briefcase. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, pop this bad boy up. Look at this. So again, super soft. This right here is where you would loop through the um, very, it's very a classic style, but you would loop through the shoulder strap um, right here. So it's not on the top here, it's actually underneath. However, if you go on Amazon and get you like a um, chain or something like that, that has a clip, you can hook those right here and carry it like you would on a Kelly or, or um, I think the Fregmo. The, the Kelly hooks here, the Fregmo has little D-links here that you hook it onto. This one, if you want to and you want that look, you can hook it right here or you can take it the classic way and slide that through there. So let's pull the stuff out. Oh, the inside is lined again with red and it has the mark cross right here. It has this zipper that doesn't say anything on it, but the zipper is not as smooth as some of the other luxury brands like an Hermes bag per se, um, for example, but it is, it's still nice. Oh my gosh. The inside of that pocket, again, is product care. This is so Mark Cross stuffs their bag with tissue paper and it's not even like the printed tissue paper. They did stuff it with the bubble wrap like a lot of other brands does. If you care about that, then you do. But they also, I don't think, make as much as these luxury brands. They're not as big. They used to be big back in the day. Um, if you want to know a little history lesson on that, um, I will link in the comment below, um, in the um, section below, um, a YouTuber. I cannot remember her name right now. But she goes in detail about like the Mark Cross and everything like that. It is beautiful. Um, but yeah. Now, I want to give credit where credit's due. I first was introduced to this bag by, I was scrolling and um, Coach Craze actually had an unboxing of this red bag that I think she got from like a clearance or something like that. This red smaller bag. Um, and I, I was like, that bag is beautiful. I want it, but I have a red bag. So it told me to go to their site. I go to their site. I'm looking through for this bag to see the price and the pricing is like a thousand dollars, but they do have sales anyway. Um, so I'm going through and then I'm looking at all of their bags and I'm looking at the top handles because I'm like, they have to have something similar to like the Kelly. And I come across this bag and it was sold out. So it calls me to go to YouTube to see if anybody did a review on these. And again, Coach Craze had procured one of these, but resale. So I tried to look at it for resale, could not find one. So I actually um, <laughs> went on Instagram. I uh, I went on Instagram and I um, followed the Mark Cross page. And then after like a month or two of not seeing anything, I DM'd them. <laughs> Asking them if they were going to restock up on it. And they said eventually they would, but they didn't give me any dates. And then lo and behold, they said, just sign up for the notify me, which I was like, I did. Um, but, and whenever it, it was time to come, I got an email whenever they had one in stock that said they had one in stock and I can go purchase online or I can call them. And that's what I did. So I got this. So let's open up this. Okay, so this is made out of the same material, and I will also insert a clip of me with this on with the drop strap and how long it is. And again, I am about 5'11", 
five, six, five, seven. Um, and I'll show you where it falls on me, but it does have, it does have seven holes. So there's a lot of options, a lot of options. Um, and it also, the cloquette was in there with the key. Now, some brands you get two keys. Hermes, I keep referencing Hermes, but Hermes you get two keys. Mark Cross, you only get one. But I'm sure it's a very standard key. Um, it looks similar to the keys like on the kids. Um, when I was growing up, like the, the kid diaries that you can use. So, and I hear that Mark Cross's customer service is excellent. So if you ever lose the key or if you're buying this resale and you need the key, I'm pretty sure you can hit them up on their social media platforms or call their um, headquarters, which is in New York, and get a replacement key. And I heard it's the same thing for the dust bags. If you need a dust bag, they will... Uh, they can get one out to you. So I'm likely going to attach this just like this. Just loop it through, put it through. There's the key. I don't think I'm going to keep it on there though. Well, yes I am. Because what if I need to lock my bag? And it's cute. So yeah, we'll keep that on there. And then to loop it through. So what I have realized is the buckle, this part needs to face outward whenever you're feeding it through. So this is a very old this is a very old school way of doing this. I think I remember like my mom's old purses doing this. Oh, neat little thing right here. It is stamped and it says Mark Cross. Very cool. And I do want to let you guys know that there is more than one size of this. This is the bigger size and then they also have a smaller size. Um, so, yeah. This is the 30 and I believe they also have a 21. So if you like something a little bit smaller, pretty much the size of like an Alma BB, then go for that one. If you want something the size of the Alma PM, go for this one. And actually for comparison, I do have my Alma PM down here, so. This is the Alma PM. This is the Mark Cross 30. I will do a later video to compare these, but yeah. Also, I do have my Birkin 30, so let's compare that on the side. Let's try and clasp this. So it does close very easily. Can hold it oh it fits all the way up I have a big arm right now guys because I'm heavier so it does fit a long a good long ways up hand carry or you can put it on the crook of your arm this is beautiful also sorry I'm bouncing around the inside it does have this other little pocket that sits here which again is very classic very classic. It has this little inside pocket. Very open, very spacious. Um, I'm not sure, but I would imagine that if you had a insert or, yeah, an organizer for a Kelly 28, that it would fit perfectly in here. Y'all, I'm so excited about this bag. I'm so glad I finally got it. I love all the details, the intricacies. It's very well crafted. Now, I will say that packaging compared to other luxury brands is not there. It is not there. But at least the dust bag is quality. Um, the material of the bag itself is quality. And customer support is A1 steak sauce. I I love this bag. I, I will not be sending it back. I thought I was going to send it back. But I'm not going to send it back. Because I do think that this adds a little something different 
than my specialty bag that I got. Even though the same color, same hardware. I love it. Okay. Um, you guys tell me what you think in the comments below. Um, would you buy this bag? Do you like it? Uh, how do you like this in comparison to the Kelly 28? Um, you know, or to the Ferregmo bag. I don't know what it's called. But, like, how, how do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys. Oh, quick note. Sometimes on the Mark Cross website, it does do, um, just like this past uh, June, July, they had a huge sale. So sometimes they do do huge sales, um, but it's only on certain bags and seasonal colors. So like staple colors and stuff like that, they don't do the sales on it. So if you're waiting for a sale on a staple color like black, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So maybe the gray next year. I have no idea because I've never seen these in stock. So just keep that in mind. So if you like it, you want it, go and grab it. Be happier with this bag, guys. But yeah, until next time, deuces.